This instructional video has been produced to assist you in the use of the Drill Out Broken Bolt Extractor, providing you with step-by-step -step instructions that will improve your speed and success rate in removing a broken bolt with the Drill Out tool. To remove a broken bolt, you need a set of Drill Out Broken Bolt Extractors, an adjustable wrench, and a reversible variable speed hand drill with a 3 8 chuck. We recommend that the speed of the hand drill be approximately 1200 RPM. Do not use electrical drills exceeding one half horsepower or any type of hammer drill. Keep in mind that this is a cutting tool, therefore you should always wear safety glasses when working with the drill out. Also, a basic knowledge of drilling procedures is required to use this product. So if you are uncertain of these procedures, please refer to your drill manual. The drill out tool has two components, the drill body and the collet. The drill is made of high quality tool steel, giving it strength and toughness. The drill tip has a special left hand cutting edge with a self-centering tip. The collet is made of hot work die steel, giving it strength and flexibility. This combination gives drill out the ability to drill and extract up to and including grade 8 bolts with speed and reusability. To extract a bolt with your drill out tool, first determine which size drill out to use by measuring the diameter of the broken bolt. Then choose the drill out that is marked for that diameter. For example, if the diameter of the bolt is one half inch, you choose the drill out that is marked one half. The drill out tool is marked in both English and in metric, so the tool that extracts one half bolts is also meant for 12 millimeters. Second, clamp the hex side of the drill out body securely into the drill chuck, leaving some of the hex portion exposed. Third, thread the collet snugly up against the drill chuck. This will keep the collet away from the bolt until you have reached the proper depth. Fourth, set the drill in reverse. To tell if the drill is running in reverse, hold the drill in front of you with the point facing away from your body. When started, the drill should rotate counterclockwise or to the left. Always keep the drill in reverse while using the drill out. Fifth, to spot the hole, place the tip onto the center of the broken bolt and begin drilling. Stop when the tool begins to cut and see if the spot is on center. Since the tool has a special self-centering tip, it allows you to make adjustments. So if the spot is off-center, you can angle the drill back towards center and repeat the process until it is perfect. A center punch may also be used to spot the hole. The spot should be as close to center as possible. Sixth, satisfy that the spot is on center, drill straight and in line with the bolt. To avoid the tip from binding in the bolt during drilling, you must stop drilling, pull out, and clean the tool and bolt of metal shavings frequently. Each time you pull out, verify that the hole is on center and straight. You can also use cutting fluid and penetrating oil. While drilling, the special left-hand cutting edge grabs at the bolt, sometimes removing the bolt during drilling. But for those bolts that are really stuck, you will need to keep drilling until the collet is just about to touch the bolt. However, do not let the collet touch the bolt at this time. For those bolts that are bottomed out or severely locked, remove the collet so you can drill completely through them. You may even want to apply heat to the bolt. You are now ready to extract the broken bolt. Clean the chips from the bolt in the tool. Turn the collet down from the drill chuck one full turn. During the extraction, the drill will torque, so hold the electrical drill firmly with both hands. Bring the drill up to the proper speed, as recommended by the chart in your written instructions. For the half-inch bolts that we are working on here, the chart recommends a speed of full throttle. Eighth, plunge straight into the hole, maintain speed, and keep a downward force on the drill as the bolt is turning out. The downward force should be less than what you are using to drill the hole. Remember not to pull up on the drill during the extraction. Keep the force down towards the bolt. And there it is. Now if the drill stalls for any reason during the extraction, stop and do not turn the drill back on. Remove the tool from the drill chuck, leaving the tool lodged in the bolt. Place an adjustable wrench on the squared portion of the collet and turn it counterclockwise to finish removing the bolt. Be careful, excessive force will damage the tool. If the bolt does not appear to be turning, stop. 
Remove the drill out from the bolt by turning the square end of the collet clockwise. At this point, you should probably drill the bolt out and re-tap the hole. Once the broken bolt is removed with the drill out, you will now want to disengage it from the broken bolt. And here's how. Tighten the bolt firmly in a vise. Using an adjustable wrench, turn the collet clockwise two turns. This will loosen the drill out's grip on the bolt. Now hold the head of the collet in the vise. Put the adjustable wrench onto the hex portion of the drill body and turn clockwise until the collet is free from the drill head. The drill out is now ready to be used again. Many times a bolt will break below a flange. In the past, this type of broken bolt was difficult to center, but with the drill out's unique design, it uses the flange to center itself, making extraction easier. For self-centering, reverse the collet on the drill body so the collet is against the drill tip with the collet facing away from the drill body. Lock the drill out tightly into the drill chuck and set the drill into reverse or counterclockwise. Place the drill out tip onto the bolt. Make certain that the drill is in line with the bolt and begin drilling. Apply adequate pressure to the drill and stop to clean the bolt and the drill out of metal shavings as needed. Stop drilling when the bolt has a distinct hole. Remove the drill out from the chuck and return the collet to its normal position so that both the drill and the collet tips are again facing in the same direction. Continue on drilling and extracting as demonstrated previously. When you are finished with the drill out, be sure to coat it with a film of oil before storing it for future use. This concludes our demonstration on how to extract broken bolts with a drill out tool. As you have seen, the Drill Out Broken Bolt Extractor is here to make your job quick and easy.